Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make your very own twist bands. Now, I first came across these when I was subscribed to Birchbox. They are hair ties that look good in your hair and on your wrist. I thought they were cute, but pretty pricey. And recently, I've seen these again. My friend gave me these two that she got from Sephora. The pack cost $8, so it was a dollar each because there was eight in the pack. So I thought to myself, these are so simple but costly. I could easily make these myself if I had the material. So I went to Michael's and I found these. Now I saw that they had a pale pink, a white, a baby blue, and a lavender, but I just got these two. So today I'll show you how to make your own. The first thing you'll need to do is cut about 8 inches of the string. So I'm actually going to fold it over and cut it at a diagonal. Now to keep these from fraying, I apply clear nail polish onto the edges. just like that and then just let it dry. Now after you're done with it drying you could either tie it up and keep it plain or what I like to do is add glitter. So this one is already dry at the edges. So I had some glitter bond laying at home and some glitter and I thought why not um, I've seen these with glitter, so I'm going to make it myself. Now, the glitter balloon came with um, cosmetic wedges, but I prefer using a paintbrush. So I'm just going to take some and just stroke it across. Now cover the entire edge with this. And you want to work pretty quick. Okay. So once you've covered it, you could either pour glitter on top or what I have already done is I poured glitter onto a piece of paper and I'm just going to flip the wet side onto it and cover it. And this can be really messy. Make sure to cover it evenly. Okay. So that's what it looks like, and when it's dry, you can tie it up. Or another thing that I like to do is actually paint like animal print on them. So I'm going to make one in paint. this with top coat and for this I bought fabric paint and this dries soft so when you like stretch it it won't you know break off and it's not like puffy paint it's soft and meant for fabric. 
So using like a flat paintbrush, I'm going to make zebra prints. Just squirt some right there. You can do anything you want. Um, I love animal prints though. You can write your name, you know, draw random stuff on it. This is really simple and pretty fun to make. This also dries pretty quickly, which is also good. The glitter, on the other hand, takes a while. <laughs> Another tip is if you don't know how to do animal print, it's always nice to look at like a picture on Google and just use that as a guide. Okay, so you get the idea. So imagine I finish that. So in the end, when your ties are done drying, all you have to do is put the ends together like so and then tie it take the end and bring it underneath and pull through see and you've got yourself your own do-it-yourself twist band thanks for watching please subscribe bye